Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I received this parcel way sooner than I expected it. In here is the switch pot, which I feel like is now the new go-to tool for vloggers. So I thought I'd make a quick video of uh, me unboxing it and I'll give you my first impression. Let's go. If you're new here, I call myself the lazy creator because too often my full-time job or life gets in the way of creating. So I started this channel to motivate myself and you um, by talking about all things that simplify the creative process and get your results fast. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribing. But either way, I encourage you to keep going, keep creating, even if you're doing it at a slower pace. Up until now, I used this mini tripod from Manfrotto for my first few vlogs. I'll link my last vlog up here in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I'll keep this in my camera bag at all times in case I need to shoot something on a tripod. And for that, it's great. But uh, the ball had recently started to get a little bit loose. So I needed a more reliable alternative for vlogging where the switch pot comes in. I know most vloggers use the Gorilla Pot and I was considering getting that myself, but I always felt like it seemed a bit bulky and painful to use. So as soon as the switch pot came out, I had my eyes on this. And when I saw Peter McKinnon's video, that sort of convinced me that the switch pot would be the better choice for me. The switch pot is not available in Australia, so I had it shipped from the US for 55 US dollars. But yeah, I'll hope it was worth it. So let's open it up. As I said, I was surprised getting it so quickly because this only took, I think, three to four days to arrive in Australia. And the last time I ordered something from the US, um, it took over two months to get here. So here it is. I got the bundle, so all three pieces, which saves you, I think, 10% off the total. And that includes the phone tripod mount, the switch pot ball hat, and this switch pot itself. Very nice packaging. Okay. While you watch the unboxing, let me give you my first impression. The switch pot is very easy to assemble and very sturdy compared to the Gorilla Pot. It allows for enough flexibility though, particularly when you use the ball head. I know some people wish to be able to adjust the height, but so far I was able to work around that with no issues. I love how quickly you can change from a handheld setting to the tripod setting by simply flipping the legs. Attaching the phone adapter is super easy as well. You simply screw it onto the switch pod or the ball head and you're good to go. That also makes it easy to switch between a phone and a camera. Now I've only used it a couple of times so far, but I'm really happy with it. I've linked the first vlog I did with the switch pod in the description below in case you want to see how it did in the field. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I forgot to mention earlier, I'm not sponsored by SwitchPod. I just got this for myself and thought I'd make a video. Um, but I do have an affiliate link that I'll leave in the description below if you wanna check it out. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and let me know in the comments below what you think of the SwitchPod and if this is your preferred tool over the Gorilla Pod or the other way around, um, I'm interested to hear. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.